Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show with your host Ram as usual. And well, uh, today's show uh, is going to feature uh, Sri Lanka's victory uh, over Australia in the second T20 match. But what, uh, what Sri Lanka did is they finished off this Australian tour on a real high by actually winning this match against Australia by two runs by the Duckworth Lewis method where there was a lot of tension. There was a lot of needle between the Sri Lankan and Australian players as the match ended, as I will talk about, because in the end, uh, it was the Australians who were under the under tremendous pressure because they required uh, 16 runs, uh, or 18 runs were required of the last six balls, which was bowled by Tisra Pereira, and Australia uh, finished, uh, in fact, two runs short. And as I said, there were a lot of sparks flying between the Australian and Sri Lankan players. Uh, so this match uh, finished them with tension, uh, but on a, on a good note for Sri Lanka, because Sri Lanka uh, would be leaving Australia today uh, after ending this um, a particular tour on a high uh, with a 2 0 victory over Australia uh, in the 2020 series, which was played at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Uh, just uh, talking about this game, uh, it all started with uh, Sri Lanka, uh, Australia actually winning the toss and putting Sri Lanka in. Well, Sri Lanka, uh, they didn't have it. They, they didn't have a good start. Uh, Faulkner, uh, who came into the side today, James Faulkner, uh, he in fact uh, picked up the wicket of Tilkat Dilshan when he was clean bowled for six of ten balls. So that was the first wicket to go. Uh, after that, it was uh, Tisara Pereira, uh, sorry, it was Kushal Pereira along with Chandimal. But uh, in fact, uh, Sri Lanka were not doing well. In fact, uh, they lost uh, two quick wickets with a score on 33 after Chandimal uh, played one uh, very good shot for a boundary. Uh, ben Lawlin picked up his wicket as Chandimal was caught by Bailey of the bowling of Lawlin for five of nine balls with one four. Uh, after that, Kushal Pereira, after making 15 of 17 balls with three fours, followed him to the pavilion, caught Bailey, bowl Maxwell, and that made the Sri Lankan score uh, really look a bit ragged at 39 for three in the seventh over. Uh, but after that, the Mahila Jayavardhane was there. So Mahila Jayavardhane, as you know, is an experienced campaigner. So he was there um, uh, along with Jayavanta Mendes. So both of them. Uh, really, really, uh, you know, understood the responsibilities uh, that lay uh, in front of them, uh, and they played according to uh, those uh, specifications. Myla Jayavardhane, well, he was really, really keeping the scoreboard moving, uh, tickling. He was uh, getting some nudges and pushes, and he was doing it very well. Jivanta Mendes gave him company, and everything was going well until uh, the score reached 102, when Jivanta Mendes was a victim. Scott Faulkner bowled Doherty for 25, 24 balls with three fours, which made the score 102 for four. But, so that was in the 16th over. But uh, in fact, Angelo Matthews, the Sri Lankan captain, uh, did a, um, made a very wise move. He in fact promoted Tisra Pereira ahead of the batting order. In fact, he promoted him ahead of him uh, to go there uh, and really give company to Maile Jaivardhane and see to it that Sri Lanka collect the maximum number of runs. In fact, if you if you see the fourth wicket that fell at 102 when Jivanta Mendes fell, that was in the 16th over. So basically, it was 15.2 overs. So uh, if you see, there was only 26 balls left, and in the 26 balls that were left, um, with the inclusion, with the uh, with the induction of uh, Tisra Pereira into the mix, along with Mahila Jayavardhane, they rattled runs at a real pace there. In fact, uh, they took the uh, Sri Lankan score on to 161 for four and finally this score, uh, this particular score uh, proved to be a winning one. It was very important. Tisra Pereira was given the man of the match because he also, uh, first he did it with the bat and then he shone with the ball too. In fact, uh, Maile Javadin and Tisra Pereira collected 59 runs of the balanced 24 balls with Tisra Pereira really going aerial and clubbing 35 unbeaten runs of just 15 deliveries with three fours and two sixes. Maile Javadin, as you know, once he had already had his eye in, uh, he was a very pretty dangerous customer and he also started carting the ballers and he collected a cool and unbeaten 61 to his name of 45 balls, 5 fours and 2 sixes and Sri Lanka finished off uh, with a very, very good score of 161 for 4 of their 20 overs. The balling figures, Maxwell 4 overs, 1 for 23, Mitchell Stark 4 overs, cost him 35 today. Uh, Faulkner on his uh, first match, uh, given an opportunity here, was impressive, I thought. Four overs, 24 runs and one wicket for him. And uh, Ben Lawlin, um, who was the uh, costliest the other day, he was still uh, persisted with today. And once again, uh, he, he leaked the uh, runs at the rate of uh, 10 runs per over. 
four rows no made in one for 40 for him and Xavier Doherty four rows no made in one for 30 and uh, so that was the that was and, and Ben Lawlin uh, actually uh, got taken for 20 runs of the final over uh, by Mahila Jayawardene and Tisra Pereira and that's what enabled Sri Lanka to reach a score of 161 for four of their 20 overs. Now as far as the uh, Australian reply was concerned uh, Australia started off now Aaron Finch, um, uh, David, in fact the, both the openers uh, were gone in the space of 20 runs to the pavilion as the first to go was David Warner who was caught by Pereira of the bowling of Kulashekra for 7 of just 6 deliveries with 1-4. Aaron Finch uh, as I said he has been a total failure. He has been given a long rub rope by the Australian uh, selectors but unfortunately Aaron Finch has not been able to take uh, any advantage out of the uh, opportunity that he got and he once again failed. So it was a very very dismal T20 showing for Aaron Finch as he was gone when uh, Jivanta Mendes had him LBW for 7 of just 6 balls with 1-4 and that made the score 20 for 2 and uh, Australian innings was also almost progressing like how Sri Lankans were doing. But then Sean Marsh uh, joined George Belly. Well Sean Marsh I wouldn't say it was a very impressive innings from Sean Marsh. Sean Marsh were uh, uh, in fact uh, was struggling. I mean he, 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 he definitely uh, hit some boundaries and sixes but I wouldn't say uh, that was a very good knock from Sean Marsh because he was definitely struggling and uh, let me also tell you uh, the bowling was absolutely on the money. Kula Shikra was bowling superbly. Uh, in fact Gilshan uh, bowled two overs um, at the beginning. Uh, Jivanta Mendes, I mean I thought the bowling was pretty pretty tight from the Sri Lankans uh, which kept a tight check on the Australian innings. And for Australia, the problems got compounded when uh, it was because of the rain. Uh, they had to rely by the Duckworth Lewis method. Uh, the overs were reduced, and um, Australia finally had a target of 100 and, uh, uh, 121 to reach uh, in the in the maximum of 15, in only in 15 overs. So five overs were uh, removed uh, from the Australian uh, uh, Australian innings, and that really, really uh, proved to be the telling point. Also, you know. It really, really accumulated the pressure on the Australians. Uh, George Bailey and Sean Marsh, as I said, Marsh was not impressive, but still uh, he managed to get unbeaten 40. In fact, he was uh, there unbeaten on 47 or 40 balls with two fours and two sixes. But George Bailey was uh, pretty impressive with this knock. He came in and um, uh, things started. Um, I mean, uh, initially, uh, well, George Bailey definitely played some strokes and uh, he was giving good company to Marsh and then. Uh, they they slowly uh, from a score of 20 for 2 they pushed the score on to a score of 106 uh, in the 15th over uh, in the 14 uh, in in 14.2 overs uh, they were um, uh, they in, in fact uh, uh, George Bailey now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you uh, how the match really uh, got into the excitement and went all down all down to the wire in fact Sean Marsh and Bailey. Uh, were doing their job, they were just pushing the score and um, uh, things were really really uh, going well for the Australians at that time. Uh, at the, I mean uh, when the Duckworth Lewis was, uh, when it was decided that it was going to be by the Duckworth Lewis method, uh, two, two, uh, there were only two overs left so basically uh, only 12 balls were left and 34 runs were required. Uh, at that time it was Sean Marsh in the middle on 39 and George Bailey on 32. Lasit Malinga was bowling the 14th over. Uh, but Lasit Malinga was hit for three boundaries in that over. In fact, uh, his o in that particular uh, 19th the 14th over cost Lasit Malinga almost uh, 16 runs because there were three boundaries hit. In fact, Bailey uh, hit a boundary of the uh, second and third deliveries, and uh, Marsh actually punished Malinga uh, with a beautiful shot uh, where uh, he actually hit it to the uh, hit a, hit it. Uh, uh, through the cover region uh, for a boundary and so as I said uh, that was a very costly over from Lasit Malinga uh, so from 34 runs which were required from two overs the equation came down to 18 runs of the final over which was bowled and uh, it was uh, it was Tisra Pereira was given the responsibility uh, and um, in fact um, I, I was just going to recount that uh, last over which was bowled by um, uh, Tisra Pereira Tisra Pereira was given the responsibility with Australia needing uh, another 16 runs of the f uh, sorry another 18 runs of the final over so this is what happened uh, so Australia requiring another uh, 18 runs to win of the six balls in comes uh, so I'm going to just recount the last over which was bowled this uh, Pereira comes in and uh, bowls to Bailey and uh, Bailey has uh, just uh, you know stroke this ball through the offside and uh, he would get two runs so he will take strike 
Uh, once again, Tisra Pereira comes in and bowls. It's, it's not a good ball. It's a low full toss. Uh, but, uh, well, uh, Bailey has tried to, uh, tried to hit it and he has actually holed out. Deep mid-wicket Kushal Pereira has actually taken the catch and that's a vital wicket for Sri Lanka here. So, uh, it is going to prove very, very interesting now. So, the second delivery, Tisra Pereira has picked up a wicket. Now, the equation comes uh, to 16 runs required of the last four balls. But the person who is walking in now is um, uh, Jim uh, uh, Maxwell. Maxwell is the uh, person who is walking in. I know Maxwell definitely has the uh, ability to clear the fence. So that is going to be a very interesting battle. Now Tisra Pereira uh, would, would, not, would not bowl to Maxwell. It would be Marsh who would be taking strike at the other end. Because they had crossed ends when Bailey actually played that stroke. And Bailey was out. In comes uh, Tisra Pereira, bowls to Marsh. Uh, Marsh gets it on his, uh, uh, gets a full toss once again. And well, he, he has managed to take two runs. So Marsh gets two runs of the third delivery. So the equation uh, now comes down to uh, uh, 14 runs of the next four balls. Uh, so this will be Marsh once again taking, to, um, taking strike to Pereira. And Pereira this time a ball. So Yorker Marsh digs it and uh, he gets a single. So that single enables Marsh uh, to be on the non-striker's end. And now this is going to be a real interesting thing. Uh, it's going to be a real cruncher here because Maxwell is going to take strike as Maxwell settles in. Tisra Pereira runs in, passes umpire and bowls to Marsh. And, and sorry, Maxwell and Maxwell has stroked this ball over point for a boundary. So that's what I said. Maxwell is quite capable of doing this. Maxwell has uh, actually put this through point for a boundary. What a shot from Maxwell. Now that is going to put the pressure on the Sri Lankans. So once again you're seeing Pereira now coming into ball the fifth delivery. The equation now uh, is getting to seven runs required. Now let's see what happens. In comes Pereira, bowls to Maxwell. That's a full toss. That's been taken full toll off by Maxwell. And Maxwell has once again dispatched with the, this ball through point for another, another boundary. So that makes the equation pretty, pretty interesting now. As Maxwell, uh, two fours of two consecutive balls, Pereira under pressure. Uh, there's a lot of um, uh, discussion going on. It's taking pretty long time now. Now that is not something uh, that Australia would have wanted. There's a long discussion going on. Uh, it's almost uh, two to three minutes. Uh, still there is no uh, signs of uh, Tisra Pereira coming in and actually balling. Maxwell will be taking strike. Three runs are required. Uh, in fact, it's, uh, 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 I mean, they're all uh, converging. They're all the Sri Lankan uh, uh, fielding, uh, uh, the fielding unit is along with Maya Lejai Varadhani, Angelo Matthews, they're all conversing as to what is the ball that this reparator has to ball. Four runs required of the last delivery which is going to be bowled by Pereira and whether Maxwell can dispatch another boundary and give Australia the victory. So once again, as I said, it, it's, it's not good. There's a lot of discussion going on. There's a lot of time. I think James um, uh, Maxwell is getting a bit frustrated here. But yes, finally, uh, the Pereira is there. Now let's see what he bowls. Uh, let's uh, wait uh, with bated breath here at the MCG to see whether Australia win this match uh, to level the series or Sri Lanka finish off this tour on a high by getting the second T20. What a, what a wonderful match and what a situation has been created here uh, by, uh, by, by, by the, in this Australia-Sri Lanka match. As we are waiting for the final ball, Tisra Pereira loves his ball on his trousers and he's getting prepared. Uh, everything settles in. The crowd is absolutely going um, absolutely berserk here as the Tisra Pereira running in, a passing umpire, balls to Maxwell and Maxwell well, Maxwell has missed the delivery. What a ball from Tisra Pereira. And that's a bye. They scramble for a bye. But that's not enough. It's all over. And Sri Lanka has won this match. So Sri Lanka are jubilant. Sri Lanka finish off this uh, particular uh, tour of Australia on a real high here by taking the both 220 matches. Maxwell had the responsibility to score a boundary. Uh, and well, that was a ball which was bowled by Tisra Pereira. Little wide of the stumps. And uh, J James Ma uh, Maxwell had a, a swing at it. He missed it. The ball went to the keeper. He scrambled a bye. That was not enough. And Australia lose this match by two runs. Uh, what a pity for Australia. But Sri Lanka, as I said, they finished off on a high of a T20 match. And Tisra Pereira has been named man of the match. Well, dear fans, friends and subscribers, I hope you all loved this uh, recounting of the last over, which was bought with Tisra Pereira to Maxwell. That's it from me, your host, Ram, for the cricket show for today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Until then, it's goodbye. Thank you.